it always takes me back every, every single time when somebody asks me that question. What was going through your head when you first saw the Kaaba? Um, and till this day, I would say that this, this was my first experience. There is no words that can actually describe when you actually first see the Kaaba. It's probably the best feeling in the world. Like whatever you think how it's going to be, it's not, it's not like that. It's so overwhelming. It's an amazing, awe-inspiring feeling. You just feel overwhelmed. I was prepared. I mean, I was preparing for that moment, and uh, you start like uh, making the du'as that you kept for yourself. The the Kaaba, Subhanallah. Um, I'm I'm getting jitters already just thinking about it. That 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 very first moment. Other people described it and said, you know what? You look up. It's amazing. But I was just like, am I really here? I remember I started crying straight away. Subhanallah. The the magnanimous thing that the Kaaba is, is, it takes your breath away, it takes your sight away, it takes all of your senses away and uh, from, from what I recollect it's, it's been one of the most momentous kind of occasions or experiences for me um, up to that point in my life and, and beyond as well and since then. How do you feel the atmosphere was with the group throughout the whole journey? It was very nice. I mean we did, I didn't know any of the brothers before so I didn't know what to expect. But each day and each uh, few, uh, week that went on, it, we became closer. I think every step of the way, you know, each of us, we, we saw each other as brothers and we saw each other as sisters. It's as if our Rasulullah you know, explained to us that you are, are, are one Ummah, you are one. You become overwhelmed with what you're going to be expecting there, the rituals. You always want to do the rituals the right way, you know, according to the Quran and Sunnah. And you want to make it perfect. Any individual wants to make it perfect. And with Hassan Hajj, you can trust them to be with you. This is a family that sees you as a family rather than a customer and rather than just an individual entity traveling with them. It's been three years now since we've been back and the brotherhood is going strong. Mashallah, we meet every year for iftar. We have gra gatherings, we have study circles together. Um, even out there, we, introduce, we got introduced to the brothers in the pre-build-up courses to Hajj. For you, what is the most memorable part of your journey to Hajj? I mean, uh, for me, it was that I felt closeness to Allah, especially after the Hajj was complete. I would say one memorable part was that bondship that I made, and it's a lifelong family that I'm, you know, that, that I've become part of. The, the most amazing thing for me was Arfa. Just before we were, we were on the coaches, just arriving there and uh, I start literally, I was just starting welling up. And I was saying to myself, I was saying in my head, you know what, I am so blessed to be here. I had a hectic year on 2013 and, uh, <clears throat> and when I went 2013, I had no expectation. I thought, let me just go there and learn as I go along. The best part of it was in uh, Day of Arfa. I haven't cried since my dad died, ever, or uh, my daughter's dad. But that day was the first time in uh, so many years that the tears that came down me just lift literally so much, I couldn't stop myself. And that after that dua, about an hour of myself, the, the, the feeling, the, 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 it felt like I had lost the weight of my shoulders. I lost like a couple of kgs, but I felt so good. And it never felt better. And I could never ever turn that clock back that first time. And they are after literally praying, praying, saying everything, getting everything off my chest, easy, just freely. And I just, just cried, and that was the best moment of my life ever. As you started to travel from your from the day you booked, how did you feel everything mm -hmm. was dealt with in terms of the booking process and mm -hmm. were you informed along the way? Yeah. What would be happening? Uh, the way we were up updated, like from the moment we got in touch with Hassan Hajj, uh, the whole procedure was really good. We will send the material at each stage, we were informed what's happening. So we were kept inf well informed and the, the materials that were sent to us, uh, I've read it a few weeks before the Hajj, so that it's really good in a sense, so it gives you all stages of Hajj, step by step, all the du'as to say, everything. And as well, the, when we met just before the uh, trip itself, when there was a preparation, when we met in the uh, East London Mosque as well, so I, I can't fault in any way, it was really good the way, uh, the, the, way the preparation, the contact, the information that was uh, given to us, the way we looked after, mashallah. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I would definitely rec uh, recommend and I did recommend to all the family and friends. Every step was explained, we're going to be here for this amount of days, this is the time where the food's going to be served, this is the kind of time where we're going to go here. 
this is your room, any problems you can contact us. You guys are very welcoming and you guys are very understanding of each person's needs. At one time I lost my luggage and you guys helped me find it, you reassured me it's going to be there and it came back. Do you feel you could trust a tour operator every step of the way? Once we started the journey, yes, because we didn't know Hassan Hajj before we uh, booked the tickets and stuff. And uh, one thing that um, I say my highlight of my journey was that I expected a really tough three weeks or four weeks we went for. Um, I expected it to be really tough, but I just think Hassan Hajj made it so easy, in fact, too easy. It's just the little things that makes big difference. That's what they did for us, which is amazing. Don't make it into I've got this what to do. Just go. If you get an opportunity, just go. Forget put everything aside, go because you never know, you might never never get that chance again. And when you go, then come back to me and tell me how you felt. Because you know what? Go with no expectation and you'll pick up on it like me. And I feel lucky. One way of judging somebody else or even yourself of whether their hajj has been accepted is if they're a different person to what they were before they went. And Alhamdulillah, if you remind yourself of this every single day after you've come back from Hajj, it will stand you in good stead and it will fulfill the purpose of Hajj and inshallah you'll have a good life after that. Life filled with laughter, happiness, peace, everything you can ask for.